Hello, my name is Dr. Roger Kahn, Interim Crime Laboratory Director and Director of the Forensic Genetics Laboratory of the Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences. Speaking on behalf of Dr. Luis Sanchez, Executive Director of the Institute and Chief Medical Examiner of Harris County, I want to welcome you to the open house celebration of the Institute's new Forensic Genetics Laboratory. This state-of-the-art facility is a testament to the high value Harris County places on forensic science that is independent, scientifically sound, and scrupulously impartial. The new laboratory gives us the ability to increase productivity and expand the range of cutting-edge DNA tests to aid in the investigation of more crimes and to assist the medical examiner in the determination of cause and manner of death. This laboratory is the result of meticulous planning. A large number of genetics lab staff participated in the design of the facility. As a cooperative effort, we had the privilege of working with architects from the Harris County Public Infrastructure Department, from the firm of Johnston LLC, and from the architects of Crime Laboratory Design. The contractor, Vaughn Construction, did an outstanding job to assure that the quality of the construction process met the high standards we demanded for this forensic lab. And now we proudly present to you our new Forensic Genetics Laboratory. In the summer of 2011, Harris County selected architecture and engineering firm Johnston LLC to be the lead designer of the new Forensic Genetics Laboratory. The new laboratory occupies approximately 15,100 square feet in the Texas Medical Center's John P. McGovern campus. The John P. McGovern campus was originally constructed as a bakery for the Nabisco Company. In 1949, it was described at its grand opening as the most modern bakery in the United States. The new Forensics Genetics Laboratory occupies what was once the bakery's train bay, where full-size train cars filled with flour and sugar were slowly rolled in, docked, and unloaded to supply the enormous baking factory. The primary function of the facility is the analysis of DNA evidence for Harris County criminal court cases. The 15,100 square foot facility is divided down in the middle in two distinct areas. Number one being administrative activities and the other being laboratory activities. Each area is further divided into zones for specialized activities arranged to optimize workflow. The entire laboratory is designed to accommodate rapidly emerging technologies in the human identification. Through the use of flexible design with permanent fixtures or furniture, the labs can be easily reconfigured to accommodate new equipment and processes without expensive renovations. An example of the flexibility is the full utility perimeter wall and full utility floor trench, which runs through the laboratory spaces. Unused outlets for power and data remain conveniently sealed until called upon for use in the future. Another example of the flexibility is the multi-use flex conference rooms that can be quickly reconfigured from small conference rooms into a very large meeting area or anything in between. The design of the new space respects and takes advantage of the simple, straightforward layout of the train bay and the materials used in its original construction. There is an abundance of natural light streaming in through the clear story windows along the roof above the space. Referred to as car shed monitors, these windows originally provided bright natural light for unloading the rail cars. Now with the addition of the numerous light fixtures, the entire space is lit softly and evenly with specialized lamps with color output that closely matches that of the sunlight. No matter how much or how little sunlight passes through the clear stories, the entire space remains illuminated in a constant natural way. The original Nabisco yellow clay brick was well preserved and are prevalent throughout the space. Areas where clay brick was found to be damaged or absent were repaired with salvaged Nabisco yellow bricks to preserve the facility's origins. In the non-laboratory areas, the train base original ceiling remains sloped and exposed as a key component connecting the old with the new. An underlayer of sprayed acoustical insulation was added to the exposed ceiling structure to help control sound and reduce external vibration. The non-laboratory areas also have a ceiling exposed to the structure. 
the exposed mechanical, electrical, and plumbing components are a part of the building's design. The lab areas have an acoustical ceiling which varies in height to take advantage of the volume within the space. The labs are designed to maintain a negative air pressure with all air regularly exhausted out of the building. The acoustical ceilings in the labs also play a big role in minimizing the volume of air the lab requires for the multiple HVAC air changes. The flooring is a rubber material from Nora which is soft on the feet for walking and standing for long periods. It requires no waxing and it is impervious to repeated bleaching that is done to prevent contamination. All of the critical equipment is on a UPS power source which in turn is backed up by an emergency generator. Both the UPS and the emergency generator are sized to accommodate anticipated future needs. By building a splendid facility like this, Harris County has created an environment for forensics DNA sciences to serve the community for many years to come.